Balancing Your Multifaceted Life. October 17, 2014. Life can be pretty complex and sometimes give the appearance of being multifaceted. Through the ups and downs of life and of the turns you may suddenly take, maintaining balance can easily become a difficult challenge. There is a lot for you to do in any given day, and for the most part you already know what to expect from our daily rituals. But when you stumble upon a blockage, or suddenly it feels as if you are jumping over hurdles, you find yourself nearly breathless. So many dear souls put the blame on much of their daily challenges that are left undone or done late as being a fault of time. How many of you wish there was a day extra in the week that an extra day would help ease your pressures? If suddenly there was an extra day given, how many of you would use that day as another busy day of trying to get so much done, or would you use that day to catch up on yourself, your family and with your friends? It does feel good to think about what you would do if you had another day to fill, but time would fill that day as well, as time is never ending. If you had another day, would you be able to find time to discover more things that bring out your joy and happiness, ways that express unbridled love through your actions and words? Any amount of time you give to yourself to fantasize of the endless what-ifs is a time well spent with you. During this time you are giving yourself some time to regroup your energies. The occasional daydream provides healing to your inner self, allowing yourself to escape from the pressures of life, if only for a moment or two. Many dear souls actually put aside time in their day to go to their mental happy place, a place they have created that brings peace and solace to their mind that eventually flows into their entire self. This happy place could be on a beach where the dunes are nearly as tall as yourself, perhaps in the mountains, or simply sitting in a fragrant garden, watching the birds soar and play in the gentle breezy air. Time spent in solitude to contemplate or to daydream helps bring balance back into your hectic life. Now I ask you to imagine what it would be like if you had only five or six days in your week. How then would you get everything done? How would you make use of your time? Even the most productive person has something they have yet to complete or to even start. They simply have learned how to prioritize what needs to be tackled now and the rest is for later. This can be a pretty good system, until you find yourself adding more things to do, then before you know it, the changes you are adding also changes the dynamics of your day, as it spins out of the balance you once had it in. Remember dear ones, you can only add so much things to do on your agenda of daily tasks before something goes wrong and what was in control becomes unruly. We know how much you try to compress, packing in a little more in your day, but adding more isn't always the best way. Operating at a capacity where you become frazzled and overwhelmed takes away balance, you become burned out as stress enters and affects not only your external activities but has a way of affecting your inner self. For those that understand this, because you have experienced trying to do too much in a day or week, and find yourself in an unnatural state of turmoil, then you know what we are talking about. After a while from trying to complete too much in a day, stress has a way of making your demands seem much worse, and sooner or later you feel its sting. How many dear souls try filling 16 hours of work into an actual 8-hour day? Sometimes you can get it done but it's not something you can keep up for long before you begin feeling pressure. Knowing this, you already know your answer about the possibility of having an extra day. In truth this is not about balancing time, it's all about balancing your life. When you balance your life, you are putting aside a certain yet definite amount of your own energy combined with time that will benefit your life. Life becomes out of balance when you try to take away the time and energy you had put aside for something else. In order to live a more balanced life amidst a crazy, hectic schedule, then you really need to be able to provide adequate attention and focus to the parts of our life that you consider to be important, and this dear ones includes your physical, emotional, mental and even your spiritual well-being. You need to allow your creative side to have role while you are busy being productive. While you are busy trying to get everything done on your agenda or to-do list, 
remember there are other people around you, and being busy is no reason to not express or demonstrate respect, compassion, and love towards others. When you are balanced with life, you know at a deeper level that the work you are doing is part of this balanced life, it's not just about the work you are doing. It all comes down to what is more important, doing more in quantity or quality. Sometimes you can do both, but to be more balanced you really do need to make a choice. In order to expand your level of quality in all the important parts of your life, then you really need to think about setting limits and committing to them. If you have a family, if you work, or go to school or all three, and any other obligations that you are part of, then are you not already busy enough? Within every aspect of life that you are part of, requires balance of your time and energy. In addition, you also need to be aware of when you begin to try to add more and avoid this in order to maintain a healthy balance. Saying no once in a while dear ones is not a bad thing if it keeps the peace and balance in your life. Of course adding more quality instead of quantity takes more time because quality cannot be forced or rushed. If you want to add more quality to your family life, then you must be able to devote your time and energy here as much as possible, but not to the point where it tips the scale of being balanced. The same thing applies to your professional life and to any spiritual quests you may be on. Every time you add quality, you are saying without words, that you understand quality takes more time, but will be beneficial in the long run. The most practical and realistic tactic to having a life that is both high quality and balanced is by limiting the number of commitments you have. And you do this dear ones so you can feel more confident and pleased about the areas in your life that really matters. By making the choice to make your life less complicated, you will after a while realize how much less hurried you are and that you are not bothered by as many tempting distractions. When you realize this is happening, what you will feel is joy and satisfaction because you know you have brought more meaning to the things in your life you consider to be important. Learning to prioritize and to filter out the activities and things from your life that are not very significant will create more time and energy for what is important. When setting priorities, determine if the activity you are considering will contribute quality and value to your life. If you find yourself uncertain or doubtful, then you know not to add it. Understand that the things you put aside as having the highest priority gets the bulk of your time. To maintain balance, you won't permit minor activities to consume too much of your time and energy. If something is considered to be of a low priority, then that means it gets a limited set of time and energy, not more. If you don't add limits and if you don't stick to them, then you'll end up giving up your precious energy and valuable time on things that really don't matter so much. If you have scheduled time to be with friends and family, then stick with those plans. Don't allow something unexpected at school or work take you away from something important you have already committed yourself to. For most people family is the top priority, and many times friends fit into that category. Allow your life to reflect your feelings of what you find to be important, meaningful and that holds value. Become a master of using time wisely and effectively. Try to think of ways of how you can become more efficient by not using additional energy and effort. This is where your creative flair steps in. As you go through your day, take the time to observe how others around you are doing. From your observations, are you able to pick up any new ways that are creative and useful to you that you can make your own and apply them effectively? Observing others can cultivate new opportunities to develop deeper relationships while sustaining a healthy balance in the areas that are most important. Of course keeping yourself healthy by consuming healthy foods, getting adequate rest and exercise is part of your regime of maintaining a healthy lifestyle. Remember dear ones without your health, nothing really matters, does it? Every day you are presented with choices and when it comes to taking care of your physical body, you have even greater choices to make that will help you feel better, perform better, and bring improvement to every corner of your life. Don't forget to make time for you. Just you and no one else. That time could be used for a bubble bath, going fishing, reading a novel. Anything that helps to re-establish a more balanced perspective for everything that is important.
making it a point to bring more balance into your life will become easier over time. Time is inescapable, but by becoming more balanced, life becomes much more satisfying and rewarding. Think about what you already do, that keeps you on track when things become hectic. What methods do you already use that are helpful and brings peace and balance back quickly? Then determine if you can add to this method, how can you improve upon it, does it need to be improved? Your journey is filled with so many wonderful twists and turns just waiting to be discovered, and you will explore more and more of your life and you will grow and develop because you are meant to. You will have times where it seems you are at a plateau stage, learn to enjoy this time, make it a time of rest and renewal, a time where a chaotic life becomes smoothed by adopting a more balanced and peaceful mentality and lifestyle. When you give yourself more time, you give yourself a gift to breathe more deeply in the wonders of all life and all that is most important. And so it is. I am Ascended Master, Sarah Pispay through Julie Miller. SpiritualNetworks.com